sir, without wasting any more time, sir, uh, I'll introduce uh, Dr. Gaurav Chauhan. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks for here this afternoon. I'm Nitin Kesarwani from BD. And uh, today I am pleased to uh, welcome Dr. Gaurav Chauhan, consultant IR at Medanta Hospital, Lucknow. Dr. Gaurav will be taking his expert view on uh, uh, a core biopsy versus uh, FNAC. So, uh, all yours, Dr. Gaurav. Uh, thank you, Nitin, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, so, I am very thankful for everyone for joining this meeting. So, in this meeting, we are going to discuss uh, main differences between core biopsy and FNAC and uh, when and why core biopsy or FNAC should be done. So, it is uh, different between each uh, case scenario. So, we will be discussing about that. I am Dr. Gaurav. I am Associate Consultant in Interventional Radiology in Vedanta Hospital Lucknow. So, this is a disclaimer from uh, my presentation. So, moving forward, uh, this is uh, something interesting which I found in internet that I wish cancer got cancer and died. So, uh, speaking about the global burden of cancer is, uh, global cancer burden has risen to 19.3 million cases and approximately 10 million cancer deaths in 2020. Globally, 1 in 5 people develop cancer during their lifetime. Uh, most common cancer in the uh, women uh, all over the world is breast cancer and most common cancer among men are lung cancer and prostate cancer. Countries which are classified with low or medium uh, human development index will have the greatest relative increase in cancer uh, incidence by 2040. These are assumptions uh, but the cancer burden has been increasing since last few years according to some uh, studies. So, speaking about the uh, cancer burden in India, more than 10 lakh new cases are diagnosed each year. Estimated more than 8 lakh deaths are caused by cancer in 2020. Uh, similarly, uh, the breast cancer is most common in uh, women in India as uh, we have seen in the world data. And lung and oral cancer are most common in men, mainly because of smoking and chewing uh, tobacco activities in uh, Indian men. So, cancer can have profound social and economic consequences for people in India as we know the India is a developing country. So, it can lead it, it, it can take a toll on uh, the economy of uh, India. So, coming to the diagnostic tools, we know uh, most of the cancer are usually diagnosed by uh, pathological investigation like FNSC which is final expression cytology or biopsy. Biopsy is necessary to diagnose a mass which is indeterminate based on history, physical, lab and imaging studies. Goal of biopsy is to obtain a tissue sample which is necessary for histopathological diagnosis without causing any tumor seeding, without any complication and without compromising any future treatment. So satisfactory biopsy is that which allows for histological uh, characterization which is important for diagnosis of cancer. So there are various lot and lot of uh, te uh, techniques for biopsy. It may be surgical which is open resection, usually uh, surgeons uh, do incisional and excisional biopsy and uh, non-surgical which can be laparoscopy, thoracoscopy or medicinoscopic biopsy, endoscopic biopsy, skin biopsy which is usually performed by dermatologist and we will be talking about needle biopsy which is usually performed by interventional radiologist. In needle biopsy we usually do two things which is uh, fine needle aspiration cytology in which a small thin 22 to 24 gauge needle is inserted into the mask and we take out some uh, cytological samples, spread them over the slide and our uh, pathological pathology uh, colleague usually have a, a look over it and uh, tell us about what is going on. And another is core needle biopsy in which a small thread like tissue is uh, uh, resected from the lesion. So type of biopsy usually depend on the location, size clinical impression of the lesion. So there are various biopsy, it can be taken from a bony lesion, salivary gland lesion, thyroid lesions, lymph nodes, soft tissue musculoskeletal lesions, lung lesions, breast, renal, pancreatic and prostatic mass. Prostatic biopsy is really done uh, by trans guidance, transrectal ultrasound guidance. So needle biopsy is a minimal, minimally invasive available treatment uh, to take a tissue sample from the lesion and to detect it a uh, very earlier stage before uh, the spread of the lesion. So coming to fine needle aspiration cytology, uh, in this diagram we can see a small needle is inserted in the lesion and we then attach a syringe, we apply a negative uh, pressure in the syringe, we keep the plunger pulled out 
and needles moved in different direction to obtain the cytological specimen from all the uh, area of the lesion and the plunger is released without any negative pressure the needle is slowly pulled out from the lesion and the the tissue which we have obtained with this needle is spread onto the slide and our pathology uh, colleague will have a look over it and then tell us about what is going within the lesion so fnc uses thin needle 22 to 24 gauge needles are usually used for fnc and a thin needle to withdraw sample for cytology major advantages are it can be done on opd basis and it is minimally invasive less risk of bleeding and tumor needle and it is very very less expensive as compared to the surgical biopsy or uh, core needle biopsy uh, the disadvantages are it disrupts the tissue architecture because we are not taking out the tissue we are taking out the cells we, we are taking out small uh, blood small fluid small cells from the lesion and it yields only a small amount of tissue which is which may not be adequate for uh, further diagnosis of the lesion it is unsuitable for many type of uh, breast cancer which it may get uh, confused results in some type of breast cancer and there is limitation in disease whose diagnosis depend on histopathology so we are not getting a specimen for histopathology we are getting only cytological specimens and it is associated with high false positive and false negative result as compared to the core needle biopsy it is unsuitable for immuno IHG test and DNA studies which is not feasible uh, for from cytological specimens so Many studies have recommended that core needle biopsy is preferred over FNC. So this is a diagrammatic representation of core needle biopsy. We have a gun and this gun is composed of two needles. The inner needle which has a trough and the outer needle which is hollow in which the inner needle is placed. So first of all we advance the needle in the lesion and then we advance the inner needle. So we can see a trough here and in this trough the lesion we try to uh, cross this inner needle across the lesion after we are uh, confident enough that, that this needle has crossed the lesion then we shoot then uh, after shooting this outer cannula it just uh, cuts the tissue and we can see that then we obtain a small thread like samples from the tissue so development of needles that could biopsy a thin strip of tissue they allow percutaneous biopsy of tumor masses so there are various uh, available uh, needles uh, it, they, they, they are multiple uh, they, they can be semi automatic or automatic needles in semi automatic needle we have the option to first of all advance the inner needle and then shoot to advance the outer needle in automatic needles with one shoot you can uh, take, take the tissue and both the needles will advance onto itself after even a single shoot so this barred mission needle is semi automatic needle and it is usually inserted by a uh, outer needle is uh, also come with this needle so first of all we advance the outer needle and then biopsy gun through it and this uh, barred maxco needle is automatic needle so it has cocking device here you can see and with a single shoot you can uh, advance both inner and outer needle so with a flick of a second you can obtain the sample from this uh, barred maxco needle so after taking the sample we have to see whether the lesion uh, or thread of tissue is floating or not because if it is floating it contains a lot of fat it may not be diagnostic enough and we have to take another sample and if it is not floating that it means that it contains the tissue and it is it contains less amount of fat which which uh, it's more likely to be diagnostic of this lesion so advantage of core needle biopsy are it is more able to discriminate in situ versus invasive cancer and lymph node follicular architecture is usually preserved and facilitating the diagnosis of majority of the lymphomas. Tissue processing histology is similar to any surgical pathologist and it gives validated tissue for ancillary studies or ISC studies like ER, PR, HER2, new, and uh, uh, it, it gives high diagnostic yield for fibrotic and cohesive soft tissue lesion which may not be diagnostic uh, uh, from the FNAC. So and for most lesions it has higher sensitivity specificity and diagnostic accuracy as compared to the FNAC so which is preferred and why and when uh, the uh, these modalities should be chosen so for breast cancer there are lot and lot of studies which shows that biopsy as compared to the FNAC is more reliable for immunohistochemistry marker because it is required by medical oncologist and radiation oncologist for giving uh, a chemotherapy to the patients so at ERPR and HER2 new status cannot be known with FNAC alone we have to do the coronal biopsy and also the chance of bleeding, lymphovascular emboli and perineal invasion 
are higher with conidal biopsy but if performed with meticulousness they are quite less and uh, the conidal biopsy gives us ease of diagnosing perineoplastic lesion and radial scar complex sclerosing lesions so conidal biopsy is far superior to fnsc especially in case of uncertainty when where, where it is uh, preferable to proceed directly with the conidal biopsy which may also determine additional prognosis and predictive marker like immunohistochemistry uh, marker so this table is taken from mitra et al studies uh, which was published in cyto journal in 2016 and uh, in special type of breast cancer like invasive lobular carcinoma mucinous carcinoma apocrine carcinoma fnsc has very lower sensitivity in detecting these kind of lesion and conidal biopsy has very higher sensitivity and specificity as compared to the fnsc for detecting these kind of lesion so coronal biopsy should be encouraged because it will decrease the time of uh, detecting the lesion uh, to get uh, know about the lesion and for starting chemotherapy as compared to the fnsc suppose if fnsc is non diagnostic it will take a toll on the patient it will increase the time uh, for treatment in initiation of the patient and uh, it may allow the cancer to progress further So coronal biopsy should be encouraged when special type of breast cancer are clinically suspected or when the initial FNC is inconclusive. So, talking about uh, lung cancer, coronal biopsy specimens provide a significantly higher percentage of sample, which are sufficient for molecular testing with no increased complication. And this excerpt was taken from a study which was performed by Yao et al. in twenty twelve. talking about liver cancer coronal biopsy is again widely used for diagnosis of primary and metastatic liver malignancy with no increased risk of bleeding and other so this expert was uh, taken from su et al uh, journal which was published in 2017 and talking about salivary gland lesion due to palpable nature of the superior superficial salivary lesion fnsc can be done uh, without ultrasound modality but coronal uh, biopsy has lower inconclusive rate so it gives more and uh, uh, additional uh, information as compared to the fnc it has higher higher accuracy complication rates for both modalities are low in superficial lesion and this study was taken uh, was uh, done by wonderland et al in 2016 and conidal biopsy is recommended as the primary diagnostic tool for the pre operative evaluation of patient with salivary gland lesion especially when malignancy is suspected and talking about uh, thyroid nodule we can see the rate of diagnostic accuracy in coronal biopsy is 96% as compared to 76 78% uh, from fnsc and coronal biopsy must be considered a first line method in assessing solid thyroid nodule and this was studied by trimbolin et al in 2014 for lymph nodes we can see higher sensitivity in detection uh, 100% uh, in metastatic carcinoma and approximately 91% in lymphoma for coronal biopsy as compared to the final expression cytology which is indicated in uh, orange color and this was studied by wonderland et al in 2016 and uh, for for accurate pre operative staging coronal biopsy is more sensitive than fnc and must be advocated as the first line biopsy method uh, for soft tissue lesion muscular skeletal lesion coronal biopsy is effective for diagnosis and decision making even in lesions uh, which are measuring less than 2 cm Uh, for renal lesions we have seen a higher diagnostic rate and better surgical pathological correlation as compared to the fnsc and it was studied by deshmukh et al in 2013 so unsuccessful pre operative biopsy increase the total cost in breast cancer so pre operative rate of definitely malignant diagnosis was higher with coronal biopsy as compared to the fnsc fnsc could be inconclusive in some case which increase the uh, pre treatment time for these kind of patient in case of suspicious finding the rate of definite diagnosis was similar between the two groups and multiple biopsy multiple fnc may also delay the cancer surgery cancer treatment onco um, uh, therapy or chemotherapy for these kind of patient and nearly 25% of the cost could be saved if coronal biopsy is considered first rather than fnc fnc resulted in a significant delay in initiating the definite surgical treatment or other kind of treatment uh, so frequent need for additional biopsy raise the total expenses of fnc over the that of coronal biopsy which usually uh, nearly uh, 90% or 200% of time give that definite diagnosis which with uh, isc markers so this is a comparison between fnc and coronal biopsy and uh, 
you can see the final aspiration removes only a very small portion of the lesion while in corneal biopsy it removes a, a small portion in most of the case but usually we can take out a thread like cut uh, ranging from 1 to 2 cm from most of the biopsy needles. The needle size is usually 22 to 27 gauge in uh, FNIC and 11 to 18 gauge in corneal biopsy. Uh, for fine needle aspiration cytology we get to know only about the cytopathology of the lesion. But with conidal biopsy, we get to know about the histopathology of the lesion. Along with that, we can also apply immunohistochemistry marker, which gives more information about the cancer. The, but the, the major advance of FNAC is it usually gives the result immediately. We can stain the slide and we can see, we can, our pathology friend can see immediately. But the conidal biopsy has to be processed. It has to be uh, processed uh, by the pathology. So the treatment intervention time can be delayed. Uh, diagnostic abilities it has uh, the FNSC has limited ability to diagnose uh, special especially the benign lesions it is no it, it doesn't have any ability to differentiate between in situ and invasive breast cancer while coronal biopsy has strong ability to specifically diagnose the benign lesions to differentiate between the benign and malignant lesion and to differentiate between in situ and invasive breast carcinomas uh, the disadvantage for FNSC is it cannot be used for additional studies while uh, the blocks can be kept uh, for a long time if we take a thread like cut from the conidal biopsy but conidal biopsy is more invasive more time consuming uh, consuming we usually admit the patient in daycare for biopsy and it is more expensive the advantages of fnc is it is less expensive it is quick it is minimally invasive uh, the advantages of uh, conidal biopsy is that we get to know about the isc markers and dna study also can be performed with the conidal biopsy and tissue architecture is usually not disrupted. Uh, incidence of false positivity are low. Incidence of false negativity is, is low. And large amount of tissue can be taken as compared to the FNAC. Sensitivity, specificity and proprietary value. Uh, the coronal biopsy is uh, quite higher uh, with this, uh, these kind of uh, predictors. And coronal biopsy is a major advancement in diagnosis of oncology. Uh, side effect and management. Uh, we usually give uh, a shot of antibiotic and we usually also prescribe uh, antibiotic for three days for the patient in which the coronal biopsy is performed and uh, usually if, if bleeding is superficial after biopsy it can be compressed uh, we usually uh, use gelatin sponge uh, after uh, the, the biopsy has been taken and we usually inject the gelatin sponge and take out the needle so the chances of bleeding are very very risk also, we have a uh, cath lab in our uh, institutions. They are only very rare or one or two inc incidents of bleeding post biopsy, and the patient has been managed by embolization of the bleeding. Hematoma patient, use, we usually have to educate about that possible uh, complications could be pain, bleeding and failure of the biopsy. So patient education is very necessary. And we have to take uh, the proper history from the patient, especially if the patients are on antiplatelet and anticoagulants. So reassurance, supportive care and short term clinical follow up is very necessary. And uh, uh, the usually superficial hematoma can be very well managed uh, with uh, uh, like a compression of the lesion and ice packs and paracetamol. If the there is tenderness, we have to observe the patient for 2-3 to three hours. For pain, we usually give painkillers. So these are diagrammatic representation of semi-automatic and automatic uh, needles. So in semi-automatic needle, we have to uh, advance the needle two times. In the first go, we have to advance the inner needle and in second go, which is usually the shoot, we have to press the needle. So the outer needle just shoots and take the biopsy cut. However, in automatic gun, both the, uh, these uh, function work simultaneously. The inner needle and outer needle just works in a uh, blink of an eye and take the cut. So there are two needles. The bar admission needle is semi-automatic needle. Uh, in first go, we have to advance the inner needle. In second go, we take a shoot and the outer uh, cannula just projects over the inner needle and take a biopsy cut. In max core, which is usually automatic gun, we just have to press it one time and inner and outer needle just uh, shoots in a, a flick of second and take the biopsy cut. So these are the uh, max core needle and we get to uh, get the uh, buttons uh, in both uh, at our hand and at the end of the gun. So it can be used uh, by various uh, intervention geologists at their uh, ease, whether they want to shoot it through the uh, outer uh, button or the side buttons. So this is a bar admission needle and there is indicator of 10 mm or 20 mm. We can adjust the lesion length or the length of the cut with a single gun. So this is very uh, advanced needle and uh, this is a bar admission needle. 
so this is the fire ready indicator and uh, this area it shows 10 or 20 so whether we want to take the 10 mm cut if the lesion is smaller or whether we want to take the 20 mm cut and it also comes with a needle which which has a smooth or blunt end so about uh, uh, so as to avoid the vascular injury so this is the whole assembly this is the outer uh, this is the outer needle so first of all we in, uh, insert this needle in the lesion and then remove the outer needle and then through this outer cannula we uh, insert the biopsy gun so we can take multiple cuts through a single uh, in, uh, needle introduction and after the uh, take after we have taken the biopsy we can inject the gelatin form to decrease the chance of bleeding from this outer gun so to summarize uh, prevalence and mortality due cancer is high and needle biopsy are very useful uh, with uh, associated minimal risk of bleeding and other things which we have discussed in presentation and they are very useful in diagnosis of many cancer for the treatment planning and uh, for telling the patient about the prognosis of the uh, cancer. FNAC yields small sample and suitable only for cytology test not for histopathology which is required for most of the uh, uh, these carcinomas. Uh, so core needle biopsy provide large sample with better cell integrity and therefore sample is useful for histopathology. Coronal biopsy also has higher specificity, sensitivity uh, uh, for major cancers like breast and lung carcinoma or prostate carcinoma. Coronal biopsy is suitable when histopathology is required to diagnose the mass than FNA. So with this I, I would like to end my presentation. Uh, I'm, uh, if anybody has question can ask. So Nitin, are you there? Yeah. If anybody may have any question, you can unmute yourself and doc, uh, ask directly to Dr. Gaurav. I think that's it, Nidin. So it was a wonderful Thanks. presentation and in association with BART. And I would like to say that BART has developed some wonderful uh, biopsy guns. With this advancement, we have very less chance of bleeding because we get to uh, get the outer needle with this BART machine needle. And we can also adjust the needle length or... So with single needle, we can decrease the chance of bleeding post biopsy. We can adjust the length of the uh, biopsy core with 10 mm or 20 mm depending on the size of the lesion. So they, they have made the procedure of the biopsy very simple, very safe for the patient, especially the carcinoma patient for uh, which we routinely do biopsies and FNACs. So that's it. Uh, I would like everyone to stay safe and stay healthy and adopt a healthy lifestyle. So, thanks, Nitin. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Thank, thank you. you. Thank thanks, you. Bye, everyone.